in life. Hi everyone, how are you? It's Wednesday, so happy, happy Wednesday to you all. Um, got lots to tell you today, lots and lots to tell you today. Um, lots of bits to show you and then we're going to go straight into block of the week. Um, I've got a really, just really cool technique for you today. Um, I'm really excited about it actually because it's, um, I've been having a play around with it and it's so cool, love it. So, um, so yeah, hopefully you're going to enjoy that. Um, but I thought I'd show you some new bits that we've got come in. First of all, we had um, our Littendale rep, Claire, turn up yesterday. And uh, she always has a boot stuffed full of fabrics and goodies and things, which Sarah and I get very excited about rummaging through. So I've got some jelly rolls um, and some layer cakes to show you guys, which we've uh, had out of her boot. <laughs> it also feels a little bit clandestine, a bit like we're like, you know, she opens the boot and we're like, oh, fabric. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so uh, I thought I'd show you this, uh, these first. There are only one of each of them, okay? So if you love them, you need to get, they are already on the website, you need to get on the website and grab hold of them. So um, I'm just gonna go show you these few. So hopefully Drew can come up a bit close on these for me. They, these jelly rolls, there are more than these. I've just put four over. We've got some beautiful new batik jelly rolls. So if you're a batik lover, there's several on there. So this one's just a triple dyed one. So you've got kind of solids, but you can see they're kind, they're the batik sort of, you know, what's the word? not mushy, that's the wrong word, blended colors. <laughs> um, and you've got a whole rainbow in there. Um, they're all £35.99 and um, they tend to be just a little bit more than Moda ones but the quality is stunning. So we've got a couple in the in the boutiques. Like I said, there are more online as well. Um, you can see, oh, I love that. That's really pretty. I'm not a massive boutique girl. Sarah's the boutique girl. But um, I do like, do like these. They're really nice. Um, we've got a couple of new ones in the metallics as well. So there's this one and then there's like some ones that's all purples and lilacs and stuff as well. But you can see, I don't know if you can see, you've got like little hearts and all on there. And they've, I don't know if that, the camera's picking it up, but it's all got a metallic silver all over it. Really, really pretty little ditzy prints, um, all in metallics. You can see only got little butterflies and flowers and all on the back there. And then this is a new range that she had, which is called Winter Wool. Now this is the cotton version and we are going to be getting the flannel mm -hmm. version of this and the flannel is actually um, very slightly um, lighter weight than normal flannel so you can mix the cotton and the flannel together to get some really lovely textures but she did have just a couple I've got one in the jelly roll and I've got two in the layer cake version of it but they just they're just beautiful really really lovely they've got like it, the printed texture makes them look like they're wool um, and you've got a lovely sort of muted rainbow and it's the same in the layer cake the layer cake has got all these colors in it so you can see it's all the colors that are in here but in a layer cake version so there's those ones and then we've just got one each of these layer cakes as well so this is the fossil fern in the bright i know um you guys have had some of the jelly rolls of this before i know ali <laughs> if she's there she loves this um and it's all the beautiful bright um fossil ferns stunning rainbow colours but in a layer cake and then this one if you liked the cats and the dogs that we had um which have got like metallic all those beautiful blues and um, purples and everything this is the horse one so if you've got a, a a horsey fan don't know if you can see those on the back um you've got all those lovely paisleys and everything on there but there is only one each of these so um they are on the website go and grab them if you like them so that was the first thing I had to show you. So I'm going to move these out of the way. I'll chuck those in fact. Drew, we might pop those on the chair behind him actually out of the way. Um, obviously, you guys saw all the liberty that came in the other day. Okay. Rulers are all in the way today. <laughs> Everything. Everything's all in the way. Um, and we had some limited edition liberties coming in that coordinate with it. They came in this morning. So these are the two that go with the blue collection. So these are the two limited edition ones that go with the blue. So this is the blue range that you've seen before and are, are already on the website and is selling really, really quickly. So that's the blue range. But these are the, the limited edition bolts that go with it, okay? Um, which are lovely. Really, you can see the, the colour is just perfect with it. Really, really nice. So that's the blue versions. And then we've got... Oh, I do love Liberty. It just feels so good. And then we've got the pink and the grey, which go in with the little peacock feather, which go in with all those lovely monochromes. 
which uh, this is this is by far the better seller than the blue in mustard, although they're both going really well. But you you guys are loving the loving the monochrome. So, um, yeah, so these are all, as as you know, on the website, but these have gone on today and these are the limited edition ones. So I thought I'd show you those and get even ex more excited about Liberty. So who's there, Drew? Who's coming to say hello today? Uh, we've got Linda. We've got Wendy. Hi, Carolyn. Wendy. Hi, Linda. Hi, Carolyn. Uh, Taryn. Hi, Taryn. Sarah and Sean. Hi. Catherine. Oh, Sarah and Sean today. Lovely. <laughs> uh, Catherine, Heather, Hi, Christine, Catherine. Hi, Nikki, Heather. Hi, Christine. Eileen. Eileen. Sheila. Sheila. Jean, oh, Claire. Lots and lots of you. Hi, everybody. Lovely, lovely. So, so um, before we go, yeah. uh, Pauline just asked, what's a layer cake? A layer cake. A layer cake is, um, it's 10 inch squares. It's a pack of 10 inch pre-cut squares. Um, and there's normally 42 in a pack. And um, what they are is um, all from the same design range. So it's all done for you, all the, the colour choices and everything. So um, it would be like the fossil fern one I've just shown you or the horse one. It's all from, it's it's like one fabric, sometimes two fabrics from one design range. So um, there's hundreds of patterns out there for layer cakes or charm packs. Charm packs are five inch squares. Um, jelly rolls are two and a half inch strips and then layer cakes are 10 inch squares. So, um, yeah, there's lots of patterns out there designed for layer cakes. We've done quite a few on the one o'clocks as well, designed for a layer cake or a jelly or a charm. Um, and it just makes all that guessing, takes all the guessing out of the way. If you do nothing more than just sew the squares together, you know it's all going to go. It's all going to look beautiful. Um, but you'll get a double bed quilt. You could just literally sew the squares together and you'd get a quilt that measures 60, 60 by 80, roughly. Um, but a double bed size quilt. Um, so it's just a really nice way if you're new to quilting or even if you're experienced. We we sell a lot of lot of pre-cuts. They're really, really useful. So hopefully that helps. <laughs> um, cool. So what we're going to do so is going to do block, block of the week. Um, and I've got a new technique for you. I watched a random Russian video um, <laughs> on YouTube, I think it was. Uh, there were no subtitles. It was just this really dodgy dance music over it. Um, but I've had a play around with the techniques. I was like, oh, this is so cool. This is really, really good. Um, I did do something years and years ago using the same type of method, but not using interface and not doing this exact technique, but using this type of tape as well. So what we're going to have a go at today is this stained glass technique. OK, which ends up with something that looks a little bit like this. OK, it kind of combines the stacking whack technique that we've we did a couple of weeks ago with um, this tape. OK, which gives this really wonderful sort of I it's almost like a Rennie Macintosh stained glass window type thing. I'm going to show you a picture that I found um, that I managed to snap off the um, off the video of a cushion the lady had done and she'd used the black tape which we have got on so I'm hope oh, I'm hoping you guys can see um can you see so she's used all sort of reds and and golds and stuff and got this really beautiful cushion top okay so I I've watched the video about 40 times and like stopped it and and went through it because there were no instructions it was Russian like I said Russian and just had this really dodgy dance music over the top of it but I've kind of broken down the video I will put a link to the video as well on our Facebook page so that you guys can watch it if you want to okay but kind of worked out how you do it and I just think it looks fantastic we've managed to get hold of some of this the tape um that you're going to use for this and it's a bias cut iron on tape um, it's got a little paper backing on, which kind of holds the glue. OK, you can see it's a bias tape, so it'll go around the curves because you've got a stretch in it. And we've got it in gold and silver. I don't, I'm not going to open the box, silver. And we've also got a black. Now, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to do the, the demo in the gold so I can join this together and make a table in it. Might, probably from another window, actually. Um, but I've got the black as well, OK, which you can see would give this love oh bless Sorry. you give you this um lovely sort of you know it looks like lead in on a, on a stained glass window okay and you can but we'll, we'll get to that in a minute once we get to that stage okay we have we've only got like three one three boxes of the black i think two of the silver and two of the gold but i've got more coming in tomorrow okay so if you want it i've got lots more coming in um we ordered just a little tiny bit of it just to 
just to see if this worked and if I could work it out. <laughs> um, and then I, was, I got so excited about it. I was like, let's get more. I think you guys are going to love this technique. It's so cool. So, so cool. Can you, go, can you pop those two back there? I'm going to be using the gold today. Okay. You get 10 metres in a box. It's not ch not cheap, cheap. It's about, I think they're 10.95 for a box of tape. But you've got 10 metres in there. And I think I used about two and a half metres for this block. So you'd easily get... You know, you'd get quite a few out of it. And it's a really large block. It comes out as a 20-inch a block, okay? You could make them smaller, though. I'm using layer cake, you know, for those of you who wondered about layer cakes. I'm using a la layer cakes today to make this quite big. But you could cut squares out of your scraps. You could squ cut squares out of your stash, and it would work brilliantly. So I'm going to pop this one aside just a second. Pop that one over there. Get it out of the way. You're going to need some iron on interfacing. OK, so I've cut myself a 20 because mine's going to end up as a 20 inch block. OK, but you want to cut it about half, a, an inch bigger than your block is going to finish at. OK, um, first thing we're going to do is we're literally going to fold it in half because you want to create a little folded grid line. Obviously, it's iron on. Don't iron this. Just finger press it because I nearly ironed it when I was playing around with this and I was like, don't, I'm going to stick it to itself. <laughs> So give it a really good press and then fold it half again, just so you've got some centre lines to work from. OK. Like that. So hopefully you guys can see now this is the glue side up and I've just got a little grid line. OK, I'm going to put that aside for a moment and we're going to cut into our layer cake squares. So I've chosen four layer cake squares. Um, this is from the Moda Poinsettia and Pine range. Um, I've used it quite a lot and these were ones that I've got about 10 left over, I think. So enough to do two big blocks and, and make a table and a table centre. So I've got four here in different colours. And what I'm going to what we're going to do is we're going to lie them up on top of each other so that all the right sides of the fabrics are facing up. So I've got wrong side to right side like that. OK, it doesn't matter what order they're in at this point, but just line them up. So I've chosen four different colours, so you get a little bit of variation. But these would be, I think these would be amazing in batiks. I think these would be absolutely stunning in something like a spray time or something like that. Something that's really rich and dense in colour. Really, really lovely in that. Okay, so I've got all four lined up, facing up. Okay, and then a bit like we did with the stacking whack, where um, if you watch that one, we made some random cuts, but with a ruler. We're not going to make random cuts with a ruler. We're going to make some curved cuts. OK, now I need to stand up for this, guys. Anybody having a chat there while uh, while I just get prep this a second? Uh, Linda yeah. says she needs some. But you need some. <laughs> uh, she can wait till tomorrow. Oh, bless you. <laughs> uh, Catherine says she loves the gold. Oh, it's really lovely. It's, this is such a lovely technique. I'm really, really like, oh, I, I want to try out lots of different things with this. So we're going to make two cuts. We're going to make one across horizontally and then one vertically. And you don't you don't want to you don't want to be too sort of you know right from the corner. Just think about a nice sort of wavy curve. Okay. So I'm just going to go for it. I'm not going to overly think about this. I'm just going to cut myself and I'm standing up just to make sure that okay. And if it starts to move a little bit, just stop a second. Hold it down with your fingers once you're out of the way. And I'm just going to make a nice curvy cut like that. OK, so you can see I've got a, a wave there. OK, and now I'm going to make one up that way. So I'm going to go from, say, about here. There we go. And just take this sort of slow and steady. Like this. And I'm going to go up to about there okay so I've got again I just kind of went with that I, there's no set rules with it so I've now got four pieces that are all a little bit curvy okay I'm just going to put these to one side a second and I'm going to keep them in order like this and I'm going to put them to the side just so I've got space to show you guys okay Shad said there uh, could you use one of the charming circle rulers if not a charming circle. If you're not confident with circles. 
Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you could do. You could use, um, yeah, something that's got a curve on it, the Charming Circle Ruler, and you could lie that down and work across and move it again and work across. If you're using a charm pack rather than a layer cake, it would actually sit right the way across. Yeah, absolutely, why not? I've got my interface in, glue side up, okay? And I'm gonna grab my first section, okay? Doesn't matter which section you, you start with, I'm gonna grab my first section. And I'm gonna look for, I'm hoping you guys can see this. Let me see if I can make a little mark on here so you can see. Okay, so this is my center point here. Okay, don't know if that's gonna help. And I'm going to, so the corner here, I'm going to add this on to the centre, like that, okay? And I'm going to just rotate round. So I'm going to add that one on like that. Oh, there's somebody at the door. Drew's just going to go and grab that for me. And we're going to add these in round that centre point. So I'm kind of using the grid lines here to line the edge up with, okay? And then we're going to add that one in there, like that. Okay, so there's my first bit down. Okay, just kind of butted them up. Doesn't matter if there's a little tiny gap or anything, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so I've just added my, that first one in. I'm then gonna grab my next one. Okay, and then I'm gonna move I'm gonna move it around. So if I started here, I'm gonna move it around. So I'm gonna go opposite so that I haven't got two together. So I'm gonna go opposite here, like that. Okay. Oh, Oh, I know what that is. That's my posh new mirror. And I'm going to work my way round. Okay. So if I've got this one with this one, can you see? So I'm just using, keeping them in pattern. So I'm turning it so that they fit in together like that. Okay. And then this one's going to go in on this one. And again, I'm just using that. So I'm just fitting the jigsaw back together, basically. But what I'm doing is just swapping swapping the position so it's their different colors together each time and then this one's going to go in like that everybody with me so far i hope you all are can you see you've kind of got opposites now so i've got the like the green and the blue but the opposite that side i'm going to grab my next one okay and that is going to go in where's that one going to go in that's that piece there it's that piece there, isn't it? So that one's going to go in here. Now I've got those two together. So let me put that one over there. There we go. Sorry, I forgot. So because I started there, the next one's you're going to work around so that you've always got them in separate places. So you're going to just line this up like that. Okay. And then this one's going to go over here. Drew's having to go up high today. Oh, hang on. There. <laughs> I got myself all turned round. <laughs> Oh, this is one of those turning mats would work really well. <laughs> Here we go. Christine said, could you use six pieces instead of four? You could, but you would need to make three cuts, okay? So if you use six pieces of, of layer cake, you'd do two one way and then one the other. So you end up with six cut pieces. A bit like when you did stacking, when we do the stacking work. Um, however many pieces you've got in your stack of fabric, you need to make that many cut, end up with that many cuts. So if I wanted six pieces, I'd do two curves one way and then one through the other. So you ended up with six. Okay. Um, that's going to go in there like that. I think because of how this works, I would start with four and play around. Again, this is quite big and I've kept it as a layer cake so that, you know, it's easy for you guys to see. And it's also making a very quick... Um, quick block as well but you could absolutely use six you know five inch squares or six and a half inch squares eight and a half you don't have to do them at ten okay and then this is my last one so I'm going to move around again so I'm moving to here and then that one's going to sit in there like that and then that one's going to sit in there like that now this is quite busy with the Christmas fabrics I did actually really really like it with the um the solids that they've done in the video I'll just move that just so it works there we go like ooh. and you can just gen gently sort of like shift it into place okay um I quite liked it in the solid fabrics I thought it gave it that real stained glass effect but I had these layer cakes and I thought um, squares left over I thought why not put them to some use otherwise they'll sit in my stash for god knows how long <laughs> so next thing I want to do 
this is probably easy to do in fact I, that that was the thing I was supposed to pick up from the shop I went over the shop to get more interfacing to do the demo and I kept thinking I know there's something else I needed um I've got one of those ironing mats you know the, the over at the shop you know just that it looks like an ironing board cover but it's just bound if I had to put that underneath this it would have made life a lot easier because now I've got to try and slide my ironing board under like this okay the ironing mat it mm -hmm. would have been a lot easier if I'd have I'd have had that I knew I I knew there was something else I was supposed to pick up from the shop nice warm iron and you're just going to press all this in place once you're happy that it's in position and it's as as you want it okay we're gonna just gently press this into place okay so you want to sort of count to three or four like that and iron it all down okay like this so so ladies just while i'm doing this bit of ironing talk to me what's everybody up to anybody anybody there anybody got any questions make says she does it uh i really i'm just really excited about this technique i've <laughs> Me being me, led in bed last night thinking, oh, we could do that with it. Oh, that might work. I think I think there's going to be more projects using this technique because it's really clever. It's such a clever way, way of doing it. OK, so I'm just going to gradually iron this down. So, yeah, talk, talk to me while I'm ironing because this is going to take just a couple of minutes while I'm ironing all this down. Because you've got to sort of be a little bit methodical about this. Make sure it's all well stuck down. Jean says it looks beautiful. Thanks, Jean. Yeah, I really, it's, um, like I said, it's not my technique. I watched a Russian video. <laughs> but it's, um, I do remember doing something with piecing years ago and this tape. Um, and you, we sort of hand pieced it all together and then used the tape to kind of a, a disguise all the seams. But never done anything with the, the interface in this method before. So um, this was quite new to me as well. <laughs> So, who saw the news yesterday? It was all over Facebook that um, Great British Sewing Bee are doing a celebrity edition. I'm really excited. <laughs> a Christmas celebrity edition is really cool. Really, really cool. So, um, she just said, what's the discount code? The discount code. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Put, go on there a minute. I've just got to blow my nose. <laughs> sorry, my allergies are really bad today. I'm really snuffly. <laughs> so um on friday and saturday we're doing a bit of a black friday sale now we used to do um a big sale in the shop for black friday um but obviously with everything that's going on and, and whatever it's um we don't want to encourage like hundreds i mean don't get me wrong come to the shop absolutely that's absolutely fine but we don't need to be allowed to have two people in at a time and stuff so we thought we'd do a black friday sale on the website so um, from midnight on Friday through to Saturday night, midnight, there is a code that you will be active that will get you 10% off absolutely everything on the website. OK, so you can place an order and just put your discount code, um, which I think Sean published to Facebook earlier. Um, and that will you can put that in at the checkout. There's a, there's a box to put a promo code in, put that in and it will take 10% off everything that's on the website. And that's Friday and Saturday. OK, so I think that's just about everything stuck. Like that. OK, it is a little bit dull, this bit. You've just got to make sure it's all stuck down to the interfacing. OK, like that. And then this is where the fun bit comes in. This is where you need the tape. OK, so we are then going to start um, ironing this tape on. So I'm going to do this block here for you to start with okay I want to just measure roughly how much I need to go cover that seam so about that much and then give yourself a widgy tiny bit more like that okay and then you want to peel off this little piece of paper back in just get rid of that piece of paper okay now it's very slightly tacky just to hold it in place just to get you started I would I found as well, if you just do a little angle on the end, just chop off a tiny little bit to give yourself a little angle like that, that helped. OK, and then we can just stick down the first little bit like that. And then you want to iron it down. So watch your fingers. And give that a quick iron. OK, and then we're going to stick down the next little bit like that. Just sort of, and because it's biased, it'll curve beautifully. 
It is made by Clover, this tape, um, which we all know is real quality stuff. It's lovely. Um, and I love the shine on the gold. I just think it's really lovely. <laughs> okay, and then we're just going to do the next little bit. So, sorry, lots of ironing today, ladies. Any other questions there? Anybody else having a chat? So. Uh, Carolyn said, if you cut straight lines, could you use thin ribbon instead of the special tape? Yes, you could. Absolutely. Yes, you could. If you it, you you couldn't use um, ribbon if it was curves, but you could do this in straight lines. You could do the stack and whack technique that we did and use like a thin you know satin ribbon, you know, which has got the the fused edges absolutely okay and then i'm just going to cut off that that excess little piece there i was a little bit over generous with that i didn't need to be cut quite as long okay so that's now kind of stuck in place and then i'm going to come down this curve here and we're going to work our way through work our way through these curves so i'm going to come down just measure roughly how much i need about there like that and peel the paper off there we go and then we're going to do this one so again just chop that little edge just at an angle just because you don't want too much overhanging because we're going to go down those edges okay so any other questions there Drew? Carol just asked what do you call those little clips you use when you're quilting and do you sell them? Uh, binding clips uh, yes we do sell them um, they should be on the website um, we have got some in stock um, however um, if you, they come in packs of 10, however, I'm going to be really naughty now, if you go onto Amazon, they come in a little tin and they're about 8 quid and you get about 200 in there, you get, well no, I think it's 150 you get in there, hundreds and hundreds of them. We sell the little packs as pop-ups um, because they're, I think they're about 5 quid for 10, um, they're brilliant, I love them, I use them for a lot of things, however... As much as I hate saying the A word, the Amazon word, um, you can go onto Amazon and get them in a tin much, much cheaper than we can possibly compete with. OK, so. Um, so I know I'm probably doing myself out of business there, but uh, frankly, it's uh, I'd rather you spend the boot, the, your excess money on lovely fabrics from us and get your staples from uh, <laughs> somewhere cheaper. <laughs> OK, so. You can see that that's now covered that seam. So I don't know if you can see on here where obviously when you cut, sometimes you get little, you know, it doesn't quite fit in together. That doesn't matter because that's going on like that. OK, you would do the whole thing. OK, including going down your long seams as well. So you're going to go down those long seams too. OK, so you can really play around with this. You could cut into it. You could applique and all sorts onto it if you wanted to. But I'm just going to show you now about stitching this. OK, before we do any more. Um, so, yeah, who's excited for sewing? Celebrity sewing bee. I'm really excited because two of my favourite female comedians are on it. Sarah Pascoe, who I love. I've been um, listening to a lot of her books. She does some amazing books all about menopause and female um um, and what it's like to be a woman and stuff and all like that and it's like they're written about me I just think she's brilliant uh, and she's really funny as well and Sally Phillips I love as well she was uh, on Taskmaster and I, I loved her too so uh, so yeah this loads of I've got some really really interesting people on it actually really interesting so now I would choose a coordinating thread to do this hang on let me just move some of my rubbish out of the way for you guys because I've got water and all sorts out in, in the way I would choose a coordinating thread for this okay so if you're using the black one i would put a black thread um if you're using silver you could go with a very very pale gray um i didn't have any metallic thread here to play with so i thought i'd have a play around with some invisible thread which is what in fact if i bring this one over here again which is what i did on this one okay i've used you can see i don't know if you can see here i've used an invisible thread on this now i have a love-hate relationship with invisible thread the, all the invisible threads I've used in the past, just, they're horrible to work with. They never seem to work very well. Um, but lovely Kath Lum suggested I get this back, oh, about three months ago, and I haven't had a chance to play with it. It's the Superior Monopoly thread. We don't sell it. Um, I bought it from Barn Yarns. Um, 
which you can, they're online, they're at all the big shows and everything, but I went on to Barn Yarns and bought it. It's called Superior Monopoly Thread, and you use um, a Superior Top Stitch 7010 needle with it, okay? It worked like a dream. I was like, oh God, what am I letting myself in for using an invisible thread? Because I've really had to love, really, really hate it normally. It just doesn't work and it gams up your machine and it snaps and everything. This stuff with the right needle works like a dream. It's brilliant. So I'm going to use the invisible thread. It's really hard to see. It's incredibly fine. I don't think you'll be able to see this on camera. It's incredibly fine, really, really thin thread, but it's sewed brilliantly. I've put an open toed foot on, okay, so I can really see because you want to, we're going to top stitch down both sides of this and it is quite little, it's only six mil. So you want to, you know, it's a slow and steady and you want to top stitch down both sides. However, that block came together really quickly. So, you know, it's not something you need to worry too much about, but I, I'm not sure I'd use the invisible thread if I was using the black, I'd probably go with a black orophil because again, it's really fine, it's a 50 weight. And we're just going to stitch down both sides. Now I'm going to go relatively slowly. And while I'm doing this, talk to me. What are you up to? Any questions? Anything there? Uh, Sean just asked, have you seen Sarah Pascal's new series? It looks really good. Uh, no, I haven't actually. Oh, yeah. Uh, I did see a trailer for it. It was, um, it's like sort of semi-autobiographical, isn't it? It's on BBC, I think. Um, I've read both her books actually, um, one's called Animal and the other one's called Sex, Power and Money and uh, genuinely opened my eyes up about so many things. I just, she's done so much research and it was just, she, oh damn, that jumped really badly. Hang on, let me just take that back a minute because I don't want to mess this up. So I'm just back stitching to get it where I want it to be. There we go. <laughs> just turning the wheel backwards because it had gone two stitches too much so it's basically undid it without me having to unpick okay there we go so i'm just gonna i was not concentrating for a second any other questions there uh, nikki said i did my wall in my craft studio it took ages but it looks great ah oh, using fab. miles of ribbon yeah, you can, yeah, you could absolutely use ribbon with this if you wanted to, but you couldn't use ribbon if you're going to do curves. You definitely need this bias tape for curves. So let me just come down slightly straight a bit there so I can go a bit faster. There we go, like that. Lindsay will ask, were you happy with the results of Bake Off? I haven't seen it yet because um, my husband likes to watch it as well. So I don't watch it until, um, until he comes home. So he won't be home till um, Thursday night because he works away during the week. So he won't be home till Thursday night. So I'll watch it Thursday. So, uh, so uh, not that I mind spoilers. It doesn't really bother me. Um, but I think last week, the last, the right person went. Um, she did have a bit of a shocker of a week. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with the the finalists. So, um, so we'll see how it goes. I'll watch. I'll watch it Thursday. We'll discuss it next week. <laughs> Okay, so just take a couple of little stitches around that curve because again, I'm just top stitching, trying to keep it nice and neat. And even though it's a metallic bias, it's sewing nice and easily. I'm not getting any splitting or anything because sometimes with metallic threads or um, metallic fabrics, they split quite quite a lot, but it's sewing really quite nice and easily. So there we go. So we're just gonna go down that one like that. And I would have, oh, hang on, it didn't want to cut, there we go. Okay, so I've just gone down both sides of that one there, okay? Now I'm going to do this one, okay? So we're going to go down both sides of this one, all right? And then we're going to, I mean, I, we won't do that now on, on, on the one o'clock, but I would then, I would have put all of my gold on first, or my, uh, my tape on first, and then stitched into everything. But I'll just whip, whip down this one quickly for you, okay? So you can see the kind of final final look of a block <laughs> so anybody else there having a chat what are you up to Sean's asked, answered the question for us Sean's answered the question for us fair enough what was the question do we sell tape and Sean's just said we, deli we get a delivery in tomorrow yeah we have there is some there is a small amount I think there's only like two of each color at the moment on the website already 
which are available to buy, but I've got more coming in tomorrow, okay? So, um, so yeah, if you're quick, you can grab one today, and then I will restock them uh, tomorrow when they when the next order comes in. But there are just, just two of each colour on the website at the moment. Um, so, yes, if you, if you want it, grab those ones quick, and then I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll get the other ones on tomorrow when they arrive. Okay, that's that one. And then just go down this edge as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them next to each other so you can see how easily you could make this really lovely table runner. And you could then quilt into it if you wanted to, but you could do some really simple quilting on it. I think I would probably just shadow quilt round the edges of the tape just to give, give it even more definition. I think it's going to make a really beautiful... You could make these into cushions, like the lady did on the video. She just made them into cushions. But you could do um, table runner. You could do a whole quilt like this. No problem at all. One layer cake and some interfacing. You could do a whole quilt, no problem at all. There we go. Right, so I've just stitched down both of those sides, okay? So I've gone down both sides of that one, both sides of that one. And I would do that all over, all right? So let me just, again, I'm going to make some space <laughs> so I can light these out for you. Susanna, what was the tape called? It's, uh, it's on the website. It's called um, Iron On, it's called Quick Bias or Iron On Bias Tape. It's on our website in the haberdashery section. Okay. And there you go. So you see, then you can, you can make as many blocks as you want and join them together. So I would just, you know, flip these over a quarter of an inch, join them together. Okay and make a really, and then wad it up, put a binding around it and make a really beautiful table centre. But I really like this technique. I think it's got lots and lots of possibilities. There's loads of things to play with. It's stitched, you know, it's all stuck down really nicely. You could put some insulated wadding in there if you wanted to, you know, if you want to use it as a table centre or just put a really simple envelope back or a zip back on it. Um, and then you know, maybe do that little Oxford edge trick that we do because that comes out at 20 inches. So by the time you've sewn it and put a little edge on it, put a, put a 20 inch cushion pad in there. It's going to give that lovely, you know, plush feeling. Really nice, quick way of you know, brightening up your sofa for Christmas or a lovely, ta lovely table centre. I just think that would be really pretty as a table centre. But can you imagine that as a whole quilt? Not, not necessarily in Christmas fabrics. But going back to that little photo I showed you earlier, where we used, um, that she'd use solids or spray times or something, spray times with the, the black tape. Oh, yummy. I think I'll be just, I'm, yeah, really impressed with this technique. I really, really like it. I can see lots and lots of things we can do with it. So what would you do with it? What would, guys, what would you, uh, what are you going to, are you going to have a go? Are you going to have a play around with this? Um, let me know. Any other questions or comments there, love? Yeah, uh, Jean just says she's been shopping on the website. Oh. <laughs> um, Catherine said you can get Mono Monopoly thread in a smoke colour too if you want. Monopoly. Oh, Monopoly. Why do I read? I suppose it is Monopoly, isn't it? Without the the gap in it, Monopoly. Yeah, <laughs> Monopoly thread. Yes, you can get a smoke as well, which is. Um, so obviously, I'm using. Hang on, let me take it off the machine now for you, so I can show you. I'm just using the, the invisible thread, which you can't see, obviously, because it's invisible. Um, it is incredibly fine, really fine, but it sews like a dream. You have to get those right needles, though. I remember Catherine saying to me, you've got to order the right, th those needles because it just works brilliantly. Um, but I would go to Barn Yarns for that. So it was the Monopoly. I've used the invisible on this, but the smoke colour is like a deep, deep grey but because, again, it, because it's a translucent grey, it would work brilliantly on the black. Um, and where's my, where's my little box so I can show you again? Um, it actually even comes with a yeah, it comes with a little thing to go over it to keep it all wrapped up nicely and, and everything. And these were the needles that I um, Kath, um, blessed. Um, thank you for the tip because it's it's changed my view on invisible thread. Titanium coated superior needles, top stitch seventy tens. <laughs> to use with the monoponic poly thread. And uh, yeah, it's it's fab stuff. I'm well impressed with this, really impressed with this stuff. Um, I would definitely suggest using, um, you know, I've always sort of shied away a little bit from, from invisible thread because it's just, you know, it chews out, you know, the cheapy, cheapy ones you buy. I think, I can't, don't think it was over expensive. I think it was like four, 4.95, 5.95 for real. And you've got, 
2,000 yards on there, so you've got a lot on there. And I think those were about four or five quid each as well. So, you know, not cheap, but not mega expensive. But go on to Barn Yarns for that. It's definitely worth it if you want to want to have a go. Um, I actually th prefer it than using metallic threads, I think, because I was going to use a metallic thread and thought, oh, I've got to go back of the shop and get a gold metallic. I thought I'll give it a go. <laughs> Any other questions there? Mm -hmm. No, nothing at all. Um, hope you loved this as much as I did because I was really excited about this. I absolutely loved this. Um, I will um, be back tomorrow and we're going to be making some Patrick Star ornaments. So um, using, again, little scraps of Christmas fabrics. We're going to make some really beautiful hanging stars, little padded hanging stars. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to have a little play with that tomorrow. Um what else was I going to say? So don't forget those li new liberties are on the website. There are new those new layer cakes and jelly rolls are on the website. Uh, the, this new tape, there you go. It was called Clover Quick Bias Fusible Bias uh, Tape. Okay, and like I said, we've got I think there's only two of each colour in stock at the moment. Although they might have already gone because people have been buying. Um, but I've got more coming in. Okay, tomorrow, so we will have more of that in. Um, but yeah, it's love it it's fabulous stuff oh, i like i like finding new products i like finding new things <laughs> new techniques so it makes me all excited about sewing again so um so yeah if nobody else is there i uh, no other questions i'm gonna love you and leave you because i've got i'm working from home today i've got a lot of sewing to finish off i've got another pattern still to finish typing up and lots of sewing to do for hachanda on sunday um oh i know what i've forgotten to tell you guys just very briefly um if um, we've um, sort of got having a little pop up in the shop, um, nothing to do with crafting, although she is an artist. Um, Meg is doing, um, she does my nails, she does Linda's nails, she does lots of lots of people's I know's nails. She's going to do a little pop up in the shop on the 8th of December in the evening. Um, we're all socially distanced. We're all, you know, you all have masks, you know, screens and everything. So, you know, it's all nice and safe and everything, just like it would be if you came into the shop. Um, but she's going to do a little pop up there. Um, so if you are interested in having your nails done ready before Christmas, um, it's a new business. She's qualified and everything, but it's a new business. So we're just trying to help another woman in business keep going in, in these odd times. So if, you found, if you're local to us and you fancy having your nails done, um, the details are on our Facebook page. There's a little pop up happening uh, in the shop on the 8th of December. So Tuesday evening. OK, so you can come along. She'll do your nails beautifully ready for Christmas. And I've, I'm having mine redone on Thursday. And I have to say that I haven't had them done for four weeks and they have lasted brilliantly. They haven't chipped or anything. They've lasted brilliantly. So apart from my dodgy finger. But um, yeah, they'll, they'll last well, to, well, well through to Christmas by then. So, um, so yeah, that's that as well. But we'll, we'll post some more details on our Facebook page about that. Um, so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Happy Wednesday and we'll see you soon. Bye.